Oh, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how can I apply credit from one customer to another customer. So let's get started. So here's prime example here. Uh, we have you have a customer with credit now wants to apply the payment to an affiliate here or some other company's open invoice. Uh, one way to do it is write its own entry. So you debit account suitable for customer with unapplied credit and credit uh, account suitable again with customer with open invoice. We're going to do that uh, on a QuickBooks Online here. So here's a QuickBooks Online. I'm on a home page here and I'm on customer page here. So go to customer pages. Basically, you click it here. Let's make this bigger. So customers here, customers, and right here. Okay. So here's that one example here. Mark has a uh, uh, five hundred dollar credit balance, and Martha has five hundred dollar positive open invoice balance here. So this is unemployed, and this is open invoice. So we want to upset uh, these two uh, accounts with uh, with each other so uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to write a journal entry right here to write a journal entry from plus sign see uh, other here and journal entries right here plus other journal entry right here select that one so in journal entry basically you'll see debit and credit so account debit credit uh, and name Okay, so the count, as I said, is account civil, and it's five hundred dollars here. And the customer you want to select is Mark, and I'll explain to why it's five hundred dollar debit here. Uh, if you are doing it down entry for the first time, okay. And Marsa is credit here, five hundred dollar. Okay, so uh, debits and credits. So whenever you have assets. Uh, it's debit. Whenever it's liabilities, it's credit. On the PL size, income is credit and expense is debit. So th those four basic things. Okay. So account civil has to be it's it's on the asset side and they have a credit balance in here, sort of liability. If you have to pay back, so you have to uh, you have to debit to clear that account. And on the side this is open invoice you want to receive payment, it will be uh, uh, credit in here. Okay, so save this one. Save and close. Okay, so now let's go back to the customer page again. As you can see here, it's zero here. Okay, but let's click the uh, Mark uh, customer page here. What happens here? So it says still open and unapplied. You don't like that it's on the status. Okay, you want to make sure it's uh, it's clean here. It should say paid and closed. Okay, so the next step is uh, we're going to go here and receive payment right here. Customers plus sign receive payment. Basically, to clear those two uh, uh, in and out type of transactions here. So mark right here. As you can see here, you have a uh, journal entry outstanding and credit memo, and the amount received is still zero. The big zero here. Okay. So just save and close. Okay. So now let's go back to uh, customer account here. I'm going to refresh this. There we go. Says page close, close. That's what you want. And uh, uh, open nothing, overdo nothing. Okay. So we have to do the same thing for Martha. As you can see, it says open, open. Although there's zero bounds here. You don't want to see this status open, open. You want to see place, paid, and close. So go back to receive payment again. Receive payment screen right here. 
and this time for Martha click those two amount credit is zero everything is zero you just have to save and close okay let's go in here and refresh this there we go see paid paid that's what you want okay so let's go back to uh, another one here uh, it's almost it's done so basically if you want to see one more time see uh, here's another example here Simon has negative Sydney has positive so on this one we're going to do the same first thing you want to do is write a zone entry right here zone entry account stable one thousand and credit one thousand in here and you can write description uh, whatever information you have uh, for your own record and Simon and Sydney okay so this one has credit unapplied credit this one has open invoice save and close okay now let's go back to your receipt payment again There we go. This is the one for uh, uh, Sydney. Okay. Let's go back to uh, Simon Hayes. Right here. Eight close, close. Let's go to Sydney. Right here, paid closed. So uh, that's how you have to do it. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, uh, visit our website. It's newqbr.com, newqbr.com, and uh, uh, we have all kinds of QuickBooks resources. Pretty up to date, you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.